ಸ್ವಾಗತಂ ಅದ್ಯ ಸ್ಥಿರವಾಸರ ಶನಿವಾಸರ ದಿನಾಂಕ ಸಪ್ತವಿಂಶ ಸಪ್ತವಿಂಶತಿತಮ ದಿನಾಂಕ ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆಂತ್ ಟುಡೇ ಸ್ಯಾಟರ್ಡೇ ಆಗಸ್ಟ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಇಲೆವೆಂತ್ ವ್ಯಾಕರಣ ವಿಭಾಗ ತಿಂಗಂತ ಪ್ರಕರಣ ಅದಾದಿ ಪ್ರಕರಣ ಋಗ್ಯದಾದಿ ಗಣ ಪಶ್ಚಾತ್ ಜೋತ್ಯಾದಿ ಪ್ರಕರಣ ಅಪಿ ಭವಿಷ್ಯತಿ ಅದ್ಯ ಜ್ಯೋತ್ಯಾದಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವ್ಯಾಕರಣ ವಿಭಾಗ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಟೂ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಟೂ ವರ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ಫೋರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಮಂಗಲಾಚರಣ ರಾಮೋ ರಾಜಮಣಿ ಸದಾ ವಿಜಯತೆ ರಾಮಂ ರಮೇಶಂ ಭಜೆ ರಾಮೇಣಾಭಿಯತ ನಿಶಾಚರ ಚಮೂ ರಾಮಾಯ ತಸ್ಮೈ ನಮಃ ರಾಮಾನ್ನಾಸ್ತಿ ಪರಾಯಣ ಪರತರ ರಾಮಸ್ಯ ದಾಸೋಸ್ಮ್ಯ ರಾಮೇ ಚಿತ್ತಲೆ ಸದಾ ಭೌತಮೇ ಭೋ ರಾಮ ಮಾಮರ ರಾಮ ರಾಮೇತಿ ರಾಮೇತಿ ರಮೇ ರಾಮೇ ಮನೋರಮೆ ಸಹಸ್ರನಾಮ ತತ್ತುಲ್ಯ ರಾಮ ನಾಮ ವರಾನನೆ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಮ ನಾಮ ವರಾನನ ಓನ್ನಮ ಇತಿ ಅಥ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಸೂತ್ರಿ ಅಣ್ಣ ರುಕ್ ಏ ಓಂಗ್ ಐ ಔಚ್ ಅಯವರಟ್ ಲಣ್ಣ ಮಣ ನಂ ಜಭೈ ಘಡದಶ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಟು ಆಲ್ ದೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಹೈಂಡ್ ದ ಸೀನ್ಸ್ ರಾಧಾ ಪುಟ್ ಇನ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಡಾಕ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆನ್ ದ ಕಾಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕುಮುದ್ ಜಿ ಇಸ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಕಾಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಶಿಸ್ ಆನ್ ಟಾಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಾಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ a lot of detailed comments i'm talking about the comments over here you can see uh, all the examples coming every day you know all the nice comments which are coming so um thank you to that yulia is working also and thank you to vasu for the recordings every time and ravi is also there and also kalpesh and others who are helping in the background uh also people who are replying to the comments they think there's no some errors which sometimes creep in I mean, it's not possible for us to check all the errors so please uh respond now if you saw us this is vyakarana seva shastra seva acharya seva so this is not really you know atra swartho nasti this is not for our own thing but you know it's a service to acharyas and bhavi chhatranam seva to future students mm, uh, uh so yes even though you hear my voice in the class a lot working in the background a lot happening in the background a lot of people are supporting uh i think kumud just joined us yes thank you kumud for all the help uh very useful now first thing is that last time yes i think kumud just joined us kumud welcome thank you for all the help with the class is very very nice with your comments uh she puts all the detailed comments every day so it's very useful um okay and there are others also i may not have mentioned but uh anugrihita vayam we are grateful for that now first thing is that last time i think i made an error small error in this so if there's any error please do point out so i would start with that right now last time we were looking at this um dhatu sheen uh, sapne adadi gana dhatu uh, and there we are looking at the form uh, sherate which we also had sherate also a post which came to you um these daily examples and the posts and comments are the backbone of all the classes we only have the class twice a month we cannot cover all the forms in the class so whatever time you have you can glance at them everything is archived everything is recorded so we can also have a nice search button up here so any sutram you think may have already been covered for example this one i'm doing right now you know this um the sutram is uh last time sutra we're talking about is atmane padeshvanataha atmane padeshvanataha so any of the sutra you can always uh, come over here and just just check you know and see if the sutra has already been covered or not you know so you can come here and see 715 you can just quickly get an example on that by just typing in here 715 and getting the example so now our, our list is getting bigger because we already have about 400 odd rules over here so you know we keep have we are getting uh 715 so if you type here you, know, you get some see atmani padeshana taha and so on it will give you some some see here it is atmani taha so that's the best way to look at these examples a lot of effort is going in here and sometimes the class i might make a mistake i hope not too many but uh bahut bhikshantavyam but the examples will be more accurate because we will correct them when you find out the mistake we will correct them anyway so 
So uh, last time the mistake was that, in fact, let's for example share it in the daily post right here. When you get to the step of Sudhatu she plus letter and the lope learner. By this time, I hope these first three four steps are very common. See, until you finish the karyam in three dot four, those steps should be now at the at your kind of fingertips. If not, practice, practice, practice until because this you know the vartamani letter and the lopaha then tip the G, then Tita Atmane Padanam Tere. These should all be, be common to us now. At least not practice. And then of course Kartari Shap also should be straightforward. And if you Adadi Ganaha Adipraprit Bhyashavas Adipraprit Adipraprit Bhyashapaha. All these Panini rules keep on repeating them, repeating them, repeating them. The more confidence you get, that's the only way to learn Vyakrana. I say in almost every class. So Adipraprit Bhyashapaha, Adipraprit Bhyashapaha. Look at the number. What number does it mean? The look program is coming in 2.4. So all these things now should be in the background in your mind where we are, you know. Uh, but then what happened was that we did this at Adesha. That's where I made a small mistake in the class last time. So Atmane Padesh Vanataha. Jakaraha, if you look at the uh, Sutra Suchi here, it says that. Uh, now one more thing, maybe it's a good, good thing that happened like this, but I should warn you that these vrittis, of course, unless there's a typo, are from the most even Siddhanta Kaumudi or Kashika. So they are much more authoritative than the English translation here in the comments here. So we may make, make a mistake here. But here, unless, unless you made a typo or something here, these are very accurate over here. Of course, you can check with the Kaumudi or Kashika if you have a copy with you. It says that Anakarad Parasya Atmane Padeshu Jasya Adityadesha Syat. Anakara, so after the sutram, the next thing you read is the vritti. The vritti converts the sutram into a nice, simple sentence. A nice, simple sentence for you. So it takes into account all the anavritti and all the vichara, everything which has to go in there, any parivasha might be coming. Everything is taken into vritti. So vritti is extremely important. Of course, sutrasya pradhanyam, that is true. Sutra is, you know, as I say, sarvam sutre pratishtitam. Everything is in the sutram, but still for us it is very helpful. So read the vritti after you read the sutram. Anakara parasyat parasyatna pade atmane padeshu jasya adityade adityade shasyat adityade shasyat. So the adesha here is at. This at is not this taparastat kalasya. This is, does not signify raswa akara. Last time I had a mistake, I had the bracket over here. I had akara as the adesha. That is the incorrect. This takara sahita akara is the adesha. The adesha is, you know, a, the, the takara is not an it bahalantyam. This takara is not it bahalantyam. Of course, now we have corrected that here. But in the last class, by mistake, I had into bracket akara over here. So that is not correct. This is not an it. This takara is not an it bahalantyam. This is not taparastat kal. This is not like what we had. Remember what we had? Atta ut sarvadha to ke. This taparastat kal. This is Pani Sutra. We say that taparaha. When Pani puts the takar as in it, after all, it refers only to that matra of that vowel. Means rasva means rasva. So at means only rasva karaha. But that's only if takar is in it. Like we had, for example, in the, in the sutra which we, which we saw recently, like Atta ut sarvadha to ke. You know, so uh, here it is. Atta ut sarvadha to ke. So this, these, so that, you know, there it is, it is that one. But here it, it is not like that. Um, here, Atta ut sarvadha to ke. That ut is taka is an it. But here what is happening here is that the, the um, this takara is not an it in the sutram Atmane Padeshvanataha. Why is it not an it? Because at is an adesha in place of jakara of the jhapratyaha. Which is vibhakti sanya vibhaktischa. Vibhaktischa, the sup and the thing pratyaha, the vibhakti sanya. So since the at is coming as an adesha in place of jakara of the jhapratyaha, which has vibhakti sanya, tasma rada adesha sya api vibhakti sanya bhavati ti vyakhyatam. So the at is all also gets the vibhakti sanya, but the fat is going to come into vibhakti pratyaha. So therefore, the vibhakta utasmaha prevents the takara of at from getting the sanya. So please make a correction from last time, um, that this at adesha does not mean, this is not halantyam, this is not takara, takara si it sanya nasti. Nayam akara adesha parantu takara sahita akara adesha. This is at adesha, not akara adesha. Okay, so one last time, atmane padeshvanataha, Sutram says that if you have Atmanipra um, which has a Jakara in there, so 
which is following an angam not ending in akaraha. So anakarat parasya atmane padeshu jasya. So jakara which is atmane padapratyaha. Then it gets the adda adesha and this ad means the akara takar adesha. Not just akara adesha. Okay, so that's made the question last time. You corrected, we also corrected the post here. So we've done that. In fact, uh, we're also going to, yes, so was one second. We're also going to yeah. have it in some comments here. We're going to use this in this uh, comments. You're going to get some uh, good answers coming your way. So we'll, 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 of course, repeat this many times going forward. But nevertheless, last time there was a mistake in the document. It has the Akara in bracket. Yes, Vasu. Uh, is one way to remember this is the Jo Antaha, Nakara is not here in this question. Yes. Yeah. So what we're saying is Jyanta is the you know, Anantaram Puram Sutram, which is the prior Sutram, is, is Jyanta. And there basically what it's saying is that Adabhyastat means that the that you know instead of Ant, the Adesha is Atta. Yes, that's what it is, correct. Yes, yeah, so connection with that because you can make. Uh, okay, let's continue from last time. We're finishing up last time with the Dhatu uh, Duha. Duha Prapurani. Prapurani means in this case actually means to milk. Take out the almost reverse the meaning of the prapuranam. Prapuranam might mean to fill, but but here prapuranam really means to kind of to uh, to milk, to take out, to 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 milk out, um, uh, to extract, extract. So um, there, this this dhatu has a swarita it because duha prapurane because of that uh, by one three seventy two swarita nita kartubh prayekyaaple. This basically becomes Ubhaipadi, Ubhaipadi. Even though the Sutram says Katravi Prayakriya Phale, that Vyavastha is, you know, na na adriyate, that, that, that Vyavastha is not respected in the language. So basically anything which is Swarita it or, or the Chavarga Pancham was an it becomes Ubhaipadi. So we need only one new Sutram over here, which is Jashas Tathor Dhodha. Jashas, jashas Tathor Dhodha. Now this sutra has nothing to do with the duh dhatu as such. Always look at the domain of each sutra. See, that just because we're using sutra here in this example does not mean it's limited to this dhatu or this context at all. This is a very, this is a very, very, you know, general varnashita niyamaha. Varnashita niyamaha is it's a niyamaha based on the letters, not on anything on the prakar, on anything, anything pratyaha or dhatu duh or adadigana. It's nothing like that. This sutra will be seen many, 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 many times. Like the word buddhi, buddhi plus we say word buddhi, siddhi, riddhi, siddha, you know, a lot of places you see this sutra. This is a very, very important sutra. So always know the domain of each rule, you know, as far as possible. Look at the vritti of it. Jasha paras parayo ho, tatho ho, dhaha, syat, natu dadhate he. Vrittis are very, very beautiful. In fact, one thing you can do as a service for for the acharyas, particularly for bhutri dikshitaha who has revolutionized the entire science of grammar for us, is to read the vrittis that he has composed. Very nice, very nice seva I can do for him. Because, you know, he really was, it's like a second panini, so to speak, almost, you know, almost, kind of. So these vrittis are, you know, by him. So read them and respect them and understand them. It is really a, a phenomenal intellectual exercise, you know, how it is called. So, jashaha. Parayoho, tathoho, dhaha, syat, natu dadhate he, natu dadhate he. So this doesn't say anything about the dhatu, duh, or adhadi ganaha, or thing, nothing like that. Just say that jashaha. What is jash? Javai gada dhash. Chaturta varnaha. So chaturta varnaha proceeds. Jashaha parayoho. So jasha is panchami. Following a jash, if you have a takara thakara yoho, dhakara adesha bhavati natu dadhate he. This is simply depending on the letters of the fourth column. If they are followed by a takara or thakaraha, that takara or thakaraha takes the dhakara adeshaha. This is a very very general rule, but we are going to use it here. We did this last time, just repeating from last time. So in dhatu duh, which is swarita swaraha, bhaipadi. Let's put a quick example. Again, these first three, four steps we are going to almost skip now in the class now because we have seen this many, 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 many times. And if it's sounding a little bit foreign to you, look at the examples, go back and practice. So, duf plus lat vartamane, lat anubandha lope la, tiptaj ji, tipratteha, because of she she prathamaha. Then we get anubandha lopaha by harantyam. Then, I mean, kartari shap, adiprabhati vyashapaha. And then, 
ಉಗಂತ ಲಘೂಪಸ ಗುಣ ದೋಫ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ತಿ ಸೊ ದೋಫ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ತಿ ಇತಿ ಸ್ಥಿತೆ ನಾವ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ನಾಮಲ್ ಯುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಹೋಡ್ ಹಕಾರ ಢಕಾರಾದೇಶ ಜಲಿ ಪದಾಂತೆ ಝಲಾದಿ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಯ ತಕಾರ ಅಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಾಯ್ ದಿ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಹ್ಯೂಜ್ ಸ್ಟಾಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟುಡೇ ಅತಿವಾತ ಭವಿಷ್ಯತಿ ಅತಿವೃತ್ತಿ ಭವಿಷ್ಯತಿ ಇತಿ ಘೋಷಿತ ಇತಿ ಸೂಚಿತ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಐ ಲೂಸ್ ಮೈ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ on the internet today so we'll continue next time i think ravi is in california so he's outside the storm area so in case we lose power we lose connection you know we just continue next time okay just in case it happens okay so we have we have dog plus t now uh, dof plus t we had hold how would have come here but then the special sutram dader dhator ka so dakara ji dhatu if you have and in that case now i hope by this time we are trying to build some you know confidence vishwasa pratiti so swasya samarthya pratiti so we have some confidence that we are now starting to see more and more rules that we have seen before trying to make use of them in the beginning it was all scattered all around now i hope the critical mass is coming they will, they will come a day when you'll find a critical mass that you can see okay now i understand these basic concepts and from that day it's different because now you're not lost anymore you have some base to stand on so that may come in a year in five years in a month in a, a day but once that comes then okay i'll add more as i will learn more but you're not completely lost so as you get more and more points on the map of the ashtadhyayi you know there will come a day when you have some good picture of it and that's it from then on it's fun until then it's bit of a you know might be discouraging sometimes so so hang on and wait till maybe you know i mean now we are coming if you see sutra suchi we have about 400 rules there now almost 400 rules so this is a lot even if you know these 400 really well i mean actually you can start teaching actually to be honest with you you can start teaching vyakaran if you know this four hamish from mahesh sutrani the sandhi prakaranam subandha prakaranam so it it is it is uh, so we this that these two we have seen before hold have you seen before dade dhator ka so hold have would have said that you know hasya dhakara adesh bhavati jali padante and then but if dhakara adesh dhato asti che tasya hakarasya ghakara adesh bhavati so we'll have the ghakara uh, adesh apavada for hold ha and then now comes the jashastator dhoda because this gh is a jash because javai ghara jash so the ghakara is chaturth varna ha tasmat parasya takarasya dhakara adesh bhavati so we get dog dhi dog dhi and then of course jalam jalam jash jashi so jalam the jal letters which mean any consonant which is not not a semi vowel or nasal i hope by this time also when we say jal when we say jash and all that those you know click in your mind what it means in terms of the in terms of the vargas so jalam jash jashi so jalam means any consonant which is not a nasal or semi vowel takes a jash tithiya varna takes a jash adesha tithiya varna third column adesha and followed by jashi which is when followed by a third column or fourth column this should click in your head with some practice that any consonant which is not a semi vowel or nasal when followed by a letter of the third or fourth column takes the third column as the adesha the adesha so in this case we do have a uh, this ghakara is a jhal followed by a jhash which is the dhakara it takes the ghakara adesha so we get the form dogdhi dogdhi now we also have practice we also need the form dhokshi because here we have to practice another rule which is the ekacho vasho vashyashan tasya stvo so let's look at that one quickly then we look at the this is again this is from last time really that we are doing again just to fill up from last time so duf plus uh, when we take lat over here in this case we look at the madhyam purusha ekavashanam when the pratya sip is falling first steps are all similar familiar to you until this point puganta lagu pasasya cha guna adesha then we get the same thing we get dader dhator ka now at this point what happens is that we have this uh, this dhato ho bhaga dhato ansha this this is the entire dhatu itself which is ekach ekach bhaga and that is um, ending ending in a in a jash ending in ithatruta varna age jash so sutram i'm trying to go to here is this is this one uh, ekach bashah bhash so jabagada dash so in case of this column 3 except for the chavarga it gets the bhash adesha 
So Javai Gadadash. So basically it takes the Mahaprana Adesha. Mahaprana. Alpa Prana becomes Mahaprana. As simple as that. Bash becomes Bash. But when Jash Antasya, it should be ending in a number four letter. And Stvoho. Se Dve Padante. Se Dve Padante. Se Dve Padante. Se Dve Padante. In four by the Sakara or Dva office padanta. So if you can look at this one, we can again, we can check out this. We have done this previously, 8 to, 8 to uh, 37. If you want to go back and look at it, 8 to 37. Uh, here it is. Dhatva vajavasya, dhatva vajavasya, dhatva vajavasya, ekacha jashantasya basho bhasyat se dve padante. This se dve padant is critical here. So the part of a dhatu which ends in a number four column letter and has only one vowel gets its number three letter, bash, except for chevarga, gets the mahapranadesha, but followed by se dve padante, sakara dva or padante. What do we have right now is that we have, you know, literally you should check all the condition like a lawyer. Like, a, like exactly like like a judge or lawyer examines the case, or like a scientist, you check every single condition, make sure it's satisfied. So we had do do g. After we did the dade dhatu or ga, we had do g. This is a jashantam. This is this is dhatu or ekachibhaka, and this has a bash letter which is dakar. It will take the bash adesha, mahaprana adesha, become do g, do g, do g. Now rest of it is, you know, we know, which is Vidhog plus C. Now by Adesha Pratyaya Yoho, Pratyaya Yoho with this because in Kohanavritti is coming down. So this is the Kavarga preceding here. This is the Pratyavajavaka Sakara, Pratyasyavajavaha Sakara. So we take the Murdhanya Adesha, Dhog, Shi, Dhog, Shi. And after that, we get the um, Kharicha, Takara Adesha. And then, by the way, here we could not apply the Jalam Jashashi because this is not a, it's not a just not a number three or four column letter. So we go to Kharicha, Dhokshi, then Ksha Sanyoge, Ksha, Dhokshi, Dhokshi. There is a two example because we have to practice for this. Ekacho, Vasho, Vash, Jashantasya, Stvoho, Stvoho. Now let's, now we want to do all the, all the examples in the class. We have to because limited time, but let me just take maybe one or two of these and just walk through some of these examples. As I said this is Swarita Swara, this it has Swarita Swara, Swarita Bhaipadi Dhatu. So Dogdi we already did right now in detail. Even when you come to form Dugdha, only thing here is that Pratyatas is a Apit Sarvadhatukam. So by Sarvadhatukam, Apit 1, 2, 4 becomes Sunnitvat. Again, we have had very many, many, many examples of that. What I'm talking about is I'm talking about. This is a, when, I, when we did this with them, the very first time I told you that time, that this is a very fundamental rule. That the moment you hear the sanya sarvadhatu come, immediately right there in the back of your mind, you should check. Is this a pit atva a pit? Apit asti chet nitvad bhavati, nitvad bhavati. So right there you check that the moment you say sarvadhatu come, think of one, two, four immediately. Sarvadhatu come a pit. Means you put it in two baskets. Boom is a pit, a pit. A pit becomes nitvat. Nitvat cannot do any guna, it is important. Cannot do any guna, adesh, anything. So this pratyatas which we have here, this is a apit sarvadhatakam nitvat, and that triggers this kriticha. Kriticha. Iglakshana guna vriddhi na bhavataha. Guna vriddhi na bhavataha. Which means that guna vriddhi which of the equal letter will not take place now. So, even though you had Puganta Raghu Patasya Parantu Atta Gunaha Nishidhyate Kriti Sutrena Yataha Tas Pratyaha Nitvad Bhavati It's Apit Sarvadhatuka Pratyaha So here everything else is the same here, only thing here you can, so the same rules you're going to have the Jashastatur Thodaha Jalam Jashashi, everything is going to be there only thing is here is the Guna Nishida is coming. In Duhanti same Guru Nishedaha. So all of these places you see this the, all these places over here because of Sarvadhati Mapit in all of these places you get Guru Nishedaha. Nothing new, old thing while you're just practicing. Now here in Duhanti Juhantaha comes, that is that is that is not a jal letter, nor jalaji pratyaha. So we we do not get the Dadir Dhat or Gaha. Dadir Dhat or Gaha only comes Jali Padante. This is Anti. 
anti. So we will not get the adher dhatu or kaha. So just duhanti, only guna nishay dha by kiniticha. Saru dhatu kama pitta. Dhukshi, we just did right now in the class. Dukdha will be the same form. In fact, we had this question in the, in the, in the, already answered by Kumud, which will, which will come to you in a few days. Um, um, I put here, the, we had put the question here, in the nine items in the conjugation table of do, which form we repeated twice. This is the answer. This is the answer, which is that, this form, which is the dukdha, dukdha. Because jashas tathor dhodha, takar takar yo because the takara and takara, each one of them, either one of them takes the takara adesha, tasmad, rupa samanyam. So, rupa samyam, rupa samyam, which is these, these two forms are the same, because the pratyaya is tas or tas. So, prakriya is the same for them. So, you get dugdha, dugdha, that is because of sutram, which is 8240, jashas tathor, takara takara yoho, that's why you get the same form. Uh, then the same thing here, I mean, these three always go together. This Thus, thus, and th. So, prayana samana prakriya. Same, same prakriya happens with these three. Now, dohmi, again, the makara is not a jal, so we don't get the dadir dhat or gha, so just puna adesha, bhagantala gupasasecha. Here, because again, apisaradakam, this, there's no guna adesha, and only thing here, the, this is vakara maka, also is not a jal, so there's no dadir dhat or gha, anything like that. So that is the alert. Now, again, we have limited time in the class, so I'm sorry we can't go through all of these, but uh, you'll get many examples. Try to work on these examples and derive at home. If you have any questions, do email us. We can come back. The one thing, let's take this one maybe. Let's take this Madhya Purusha. I just talking to Ravi, beginning of the class, I was talking to Ravi. So this interesting one here. Let's take the Madhya Purusha question of Lord, Parasnipadi. Parasmipadam, uh, we take, we take Duf plus Lord, again the same steps, Arubandha Lopaha, Lasya Tipta Ji, Serya Picha, Serya Picha. By the way, in all of these places, Shapluk is taking place. I'm not repeating that anymore. Adhadi Ganaha means Adhi Prabhati Vyash Shapaha. In every single of these places, Atmanipadam, Parasmipadam, it doesn't matter. Shapluk takes place. So, when you have Duf plus He by Serya Picha, Serya Picha, the he, the si pratyaya of, of uh, Lord becomes he. So say you picture you have duh plus si, duh plus he rather now, duh plus he. Now, unlike, remember that is sutram which is the jashasthator dhodha, dader dhator gha, they all become the tripadik karyam, tripadik karyani. Because purvatra siddham, they have to all wait until the sapal saptadhyaya is complete. So, None of these rules, which is the dadir dhat or khaha, or then the jishastator dhodaha, they cannot apply until the sapal sapta adhyaya is done. So we have the rule which is hu jal bhyo herdhi, which we have seen. Dhatu hu, which we might see today, we have to see today, later on. But jal, if in jalantam angam where we have, if you have a jalantam angam, then hu jal bhyo herdhi says that the the he sthane dhi adesh bhavati. So right in the sapal sapta jai itself, we can do the dhi adesha for the he. So this in the form dhugdhi, this form dhugdhi, we don't have to wait to get to the dadir zhatur ghaha and then jashastatur dhoda for the dhakar adesha. Atayo bhavati. Sapal sapta jayam eva. He sthane dhi adesh bhavati. Yataha. Angam, Jalantam Angam Vartate, because we have Jalantam Angam Duh, so we can, we'll make it right here, make it Duh Di, Duh Di, and then, of course, then we'll go to Tripadi and make the, you know, Dadir, Zhat, or Ghaha, and then just directly go to the Jalam, Jash, Jashi, make it Duh Di. So that's an interesting form, I thought, because everywhere else here, when you see this, you know, Gakar Dhakaraha. It's where we are using this combination of Dadir Dhatur Gha followed by the Shastatur Dhodha. But in the form Dukdhi, because of who shall be your hair dhi, we are we can with the dhi adesh shall be made in the Sapa Sapta Jai itself by six six four one oh one. Then we'll only have to do the Dadir Dhatur Gha and the Jalam Jashashi. Of course here because of Sarya Pitch, again this is a pit. 
even though the ship was a pit pratyaya by sthanivad bhava he also become pit but one is specifically says serya pitcha so a pitvat mitvat and going to shed so dugdhi of course dugdha this is fine the pratyaya tatang comes in there you know that is of course the sutra means to yos tatang mahashishya natrasyam so in tatang pakshe you know we have to we have to do dadir dhatur gha and then just chatur dhodha ram jash chashi so that tatan paksha is fine because who jhal bio hel thi that is the one which which uh, i'm sorry 7130 is 37 i think is no 35 to your tatan so 35 so that was interesting for my thought otherwise continuing here um these are all the same again you have to use near loto langvat tasthami pam tam tam tamaha otherwise there's nothing really special for dhatu when we get in the utta purusha we get the arthamasya picha becomes ajadi pratyah once it becomes ajadi then there's no question of dadir dhatu or gha only pugantal ghupa sasya because arthamasya picha that's coming there now let's take one more here then we'll move on let's take this one adhog adhog so what happens here is a dhatu duf plus lang anubandha lopah lasya tipta ji we get tipa adesha then itascha itascha nitlakarah the ending ikar in fact we can go right here in a sutra suchi look at sutram itascha itascha so of course we have done already a few times itascha is that nitaha nitolasya nitolasya lakara which is kavarga panchama is it prasvai padam ikarantam yat tadantasya lopah these vrittis i cannot emphasize to you how important these vrittis are because we may make a mistake in this part here but this one unless you make a typo you know please um, look at it and now with the knowledge that we have i hope you can decipher most of it the vritti is supposed to make life very easy for us it takes the sutram puts exactly what we need to know from the sutram in a nice simple sentence so mitolasya parasmai padam ikarantam yat tadantasya lopah tadantasya lopah also in the vritti this is shishta prayog also the sutra might have some arsha prayog except the vritti will not have by the way in the vritti there is no arsha prayog vritti is you know how we should speak how we should compose that's how the vritti the sutram pani we might use because you know they say chanda vat sutra ni bhavanti so there might be some arsha prayog in sutra but not in the vritti so this is the pure sutra that you want to speak this is how you want to speak i mean of course this is a little bit technical but i'm saying grammatically correct grammatically 100% correct so mitolasya prasya padam ikarantam yattadantasya lopah so now we, when we come back here we get the uh, we get a don't start or yet we can do adagama will be done last by the way the adagama is good to wait till the till the last point why is that because the entire angam angam this dhatu plus pratyah has the angam for the at so we have we want to wait till the till the antarangam is completely finished that's the safest thing to do is wait to the adagama last so right now we have duf plus ta itascha of course we did the adipratya vyashapah so duh ta now in the meanwhile pugantha lagu patascha so we get doh ta doh ta now we get hanya vyodhi dikha su tisya pruktam hal ya takara gozave because we halantam angam prutte ekar pratyah the takara is aprutta pratyah so we got we got do we got do now we can do the adagama lung lung rang shvara datta adagama we got ado ado so when we enter this enter the sipadi section we got ado 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 now comes dadir dhatur kaha adog 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 now we have to use the um ekacho basho bhas jashantasya stvo ho se dve padante se dve padante se dve padante so when we get we had a step of adog adog then we have this dhatu or ekach bhaga which is dog which end is ends in the jash which is the gakara which has a bhas in there which is the dakara it takes the mahaprana bhasya desha because padante suptingantam padam pratyay lope pratyay lakshanam suptin gantam padam that adog spada sanya that gakara is is padant gakara so that the dakara gets the dakara is become adog adog 
And then of course, Jalam, Jalam Jashwante, of course, appreciate the, the Tripadi of Panini, by the way. The, the, how beautifully he has put all these rules, you know, from this Hodha, Dadir Dhatur Gaha, Eka Chabosho Bhash, Jalam Jashwante, Jashistatur Dho, this is you know, very critical because they don't, they don't want to get in each other's way. Remember, we are in the Purutra Siddha Madhikara. We cannot look back. Cannot look back. So it's very tricky for Pani to put all these rules in the right place. They're extremely, it's like a landmine, this Tripadi. You have to walk very carefully. You cannot look back, you can only look forward normally. So this is really one of the you know the highlights of as they say of human intelligence is the Tripadi of Panini. You know, how he has done this, it is because enormously complicated. So because we need to had the Jalam Jashon take him afterward because if you lose the Ghakara, if you, you can appreciate right here, you can appreciate that. You can appreciate, you know, the intelligence of Panini right here. Because see, if you put Jalam Jashon before Eka Cho Basho Bhash, Jashanta then the Jash will be lost. We lose the Jash. Because when, when we had the form Adog, right there we want to get this Sutra Eka Cho Basho Bhash, Jashanta You don't want to lose that Jash. If you make Jalam Jashwante, it becomes Jashadesh. It is finished because then it becomes Gakara. So this has to wait till this one is done and we get the Dakar become Adhog. Now we can make it Adhog and then, of course, Vavasani, Adhog, Adhog. So this is an always, you know, Pani has to think of all these complications in, you know, million places and how it might affect. Them. So you appreciate now why this Eka Chobashobash is placed before. Jalam Jashante and after the Dadir Dhatur Ghaha. We need, we need to get the Ghakara in place first. Because if you don't get the Ghakara, they say we cannot, we don't have a Jash over there. So we need to get the Gha in place. Then we need to put this uh, Basho Bhasha Desha Jalam Jashante. So this is how it goes in the Tripadi, you know. So this has to come first. Then comes the Basho Bhasha Desha Jashantasya Tatpascha Jasha Desha. So you know, again in the class we cannot do all of these, but just you know, when you go to Tripadi, look what is behind you, what's in front of you. And appreciate, you know, that we don't need what is behind you, but you need what's in front of you. So whatever is behind was required to get here. What is in front will require from this point on. So this form, Adhog, Adhog, and so please practice these forms. Uh, we just did a few right now, of course, here we have to use the Tastastam Pam, Tam Tam Tamaha, and so on. Uh, now when we get to the Vidiling, you know, Vidiling is one of the easiest thing because because of the Yasut Agama. Yasut, Yasut Prasipade, Shudhartu, Nitsha, it is not a Jaladi Pratyaya. So Sarvat Kutrapi Nasti Dadir Dhatur Gaha. So it is Sukara Prakriya. It is very easy. Prakriya Sukara Bhavati. It's very easy. So this everywhere you get, you know, just because when you get Yasut, then you know, Duhya is common work. Even though you should not be doing that, as my teacher always told me, don't do that. Because the Yasut Agma belongs to Pratyaha, not to the Angam. But in terms of operations, Duhya is common work. We just do the usual things, you know, Tassasthmi Pam, Tam Tam Tam, and so on. And of course here, Jejus. So all that comes here, Duhyo, Jejus, and then the Pusya Padanta, that will come over here. Atmani Padam, there's nothing really special, all the same formula. Let's look at these two here, Dukshva and Dugdham. You can quickly spot the Ekacho, Basho, Bash, Jashan, Tassas, Tvoho. Se dve padante. Because savabhyam vamo, you get the sva. Pasthasa se savabhyam vamo becomes sva. And so you have this sakaripatya become dhukshva and dhugdvam. Because stvo se dve padante. From this level, so do this thing. Se dve padante. Se dve padante. This is what you know, I heard from a teacher a thousand times. So I remember this now. Se dve padante. So dhugdvam. Um, Okay, so let's let's so let me leave you with that. We cannot do every form, but hopefully there's no practice for you. And please, we'll get examples. So we'll practice more. Let's go on to today's today's examples now. Uh, we have starting with the dhatu lift now lift. Dhatu lift again. There's nothing special required. So one sutram. Before even we even go, the let let me let me put you in the right area because we're going to take the sutram dho dhe lopaha dho dhe lopaha. Atisugamam Sutram, Atisugamam Sutram, Sugamam, very easy Sutram. Dakarasya, Dakare Pare, 
लोपो ढकारे वेरी सिंपल दैट इफ ढकार इज फॉर इमीडिएटली बाय ढकार प्रायर ढकार टेक्स लोप यू कैन रेकग्नाइज द नंबर हियर त्रिपादी कार्य यस बट यू नो द सूत्र रोरी रोरी Anuvritti of Lopaha came from this sutra. So that sutra from Rori, which we studied long back, long back is from Rori. So repasya repe pare Lopo bhavati. So we have you know Rori, and we have this you know. Again, the question comes here is that these also certain things you can you can think in your mind why didn't didn't Pani combine these two rules now? Why didn't make it dr? You know. So then dr dr is similar, but then because of the fact that he wants to keep Anuvritti of This repa coming into the next sutra, karavasana visajaniya. Pani needs only the repa he needs, anurutti he needs, and not the dakara. So tasmat yoga vibhajate, so vibhakta. So he he divided sutra into two. So dhodhe lopa separate sutra, rori sutra after that, because he doesn't want the dakara to come down into the karavasana visajaniya. Generally speaking, when pani makes a compound like dra or something like that, dra. So if you make it like that, you cannot split a term from a compound and take anuvritti in the next sutra only from inside a compound. Generally speaking, that once a compound is made in a sutra, the entire compound will go anuvritti. Generally speaking, you know, so we'll be, we should will not be able to take from inside like that. It will be very hard to justify taking only anuvritti of ray only down here, not with the dhakara. That is why we kept just two different rules. So dhore lopa harori. So dhore lopa again nothing nothing to do with the dhatu lish. We're going to see this in other places also. Of course, dhakara is is a much less common than the repa. So we don't see sutram as often as rori, but we do see it sometimes. So now, as I said to you, I hope that you have enough points on the ashtadhyayi map that you're not too lost anymore, because we know our friend rori. We have a very good friend next to him right there. Karavasana Visajaniya we have. Then we have Bho Bhago Agho Apurvasya Yoshi. This is already well known to us, you know. Nashtabhya Prashan we have used a few times. So it's another point on the map for you. We have a good friend next door which is Rori. Um, so Dhakarasya Dhakar Pari Lopa Bhavati. So now let's see why do we need, uh, okay, there's one complication here by the way. Is that What happens is that in order to get the you know dhakara ha dhakare pare, we have to really apply this sutram sunashtu. Sunashtu. And I just told you because purvatra siddham, we cannot look back in the Pali section. So when you apply three eight four forty one, which is the parakaryam, you know that um, stuttam will be will be asiddham compared in the eyes of dhore lopa. But we are getting into too many complications. This the simple answer is that that the dhore lopa will have no charita artha. Charita artha means application. Application somewhere. The dhore lopa will basically become useless unless you allow it to see the shtuttam done by 8441. Otherwise, you will not get a dhakara for it. So, what is the samarthya? What is the samarthya? The shtuttam, the 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 dhaka. Our Adesha done by 8441 becomes Siddha in the eyes of Dhore Lopa. Not only that, so first of all, this Dhakara Adesha done by 8441 has to be seen by Dhore Lopa in order to not make Dhore Lopa useless. Okay. Not only that, in fact, it is a good example for us to appreciate the Vachana Samaritam. Not only that, but this Dhakara Lopa the Done by 8313 has to be seen by 63111. Dhalope purvasya dirghorna. So the dhalope, the dhalope. Of course, in this case, Pani combined the dhakara repa and one sutram. So dhalope purvasya dirghorna. So dhalope only takes place in that which we just saw 8383138314. So there are two times we are using vachana samaratham over here. So the stuttam by 8441 has to be seen by Dhore Lopa, and the Dhakar Lopa, or as a matter of fact, the Repa Lopa also done by Rori has to be seen by Dhalope Purus Dirgona. So in both the cases, the Purvatra Siddham has to be relaxed a little bit. 
you know, to allow these rules to have to, return, to have application. Let's look at an example here. Um, give me an example lead here. Again, this dhatu also has the surita swaraha. So because surita surita gnite kartibhi praye kriya phale um, by, by 1372, this, this essentially becomes a ubhaypadi dhatu. Surita gnitaha, surita gnitaha. Um, okay, so then let's look at the Apanipadam, for example. Let's look Dhatu lift plus Lat, and when we get Anubandha Lopela, in this case Patya is the Vivaksha is Patimurusha Ekavachanam. So then we get the Tita Atmane Padanam Tere, we get the Te, and then Kartari Shap, Shap Luk. Now, now what we happen is that we get hordha in this case. Because the dadir dhatu or ghaz only when the dhatu is dakaradi. This is lakaradi dhatu. So, atra dadir dhatu or ghaz na pravartate. Atra hordha pravartate. Dhakaradi shabhavati. So, hordha jali padante. Hakaras se dhakaradi shabhavati jali padante. So, we get lid te. Lid te. And then after that, jashas tato or dhodha, which we just saw because we have the Jashaha, Tatoho, Dhodhaha. So we can Dhakara, they shall become lead day. Now we can use Tunash to him. Shuna because the Tavarga is weak. It, when it contacts with the Tavarga, it, it gives way and matches the Tavarga. So this is, this is in this marriage, this marriage of the, of the Tavarga and Tavarga, the Tavarga is weak. She matches the Tavarga and becomes Lid Dhe, Lid Dhe. So, and now, as I said to you, this, this Dhaka Adesha has to be made Siddha for Dho Dhe Lopa. Vachana Samadhyat, this Dhaka Adesha Dhaka Repade Lopa Bhavati. So, this becomes Li Dhe, Li Dhe. And finally, Dha Lope, because the Dhaka Lopa has taken place, Purva Se Dhir Ghonaha, Anna. So, Ayy Anna. So, so that, you know, the, the uh, e, u, they take the dirgha desha, us dirghonaha. So, um, us dirghonaha. Um, so, it becomes lead he. Final form is lead he. Now, um, let's look at one more form here, which is one more shadow of kasi. By the way, these are all very important rules. The shastator dhodhaha, the, um, this one also, shadow of kasi. These are all very important say, Sandhi rules. Sandhi rules are, these are very important rules. So Sandhi rules means sense of, you know, Varna, varna Niyamaha, Varna Ashita Niyamaha. Because when these letters come together like that, like we saw Jal Sandhi, or Hal Sandhi, I should say, the letters come together like that, you know, they will they will interact to, to, to produce these, you know, sound modifications. So these are what we are going to see these rules many times going forward. Many times. As I said, Dhodhe Lopa is not very common. Because Dhaka is not a very common letter. But the Jashastatur Dhodha is, is very important. So is the Shadow Kasi. Again, very, sim very, very simple rule. It says that Shakara Dhakara Yoho, Kakara Adesha Bhavati Sakare Parataha. Very, very straightforward. Nothing complicated. So Shadow Ho, Shakara Dhakara Yoho Sthani, Kakara Adesha Bhavati Sakare Parataha. So if you have the Murdhanya Shakara Atwa Dhakaraha, Sakare Parataha. Tasya sthane, tayoho sthane, kakara desha bhavati. So we, get, so we have the sha or dha followed by sakara. Then the shakara or dhakara takes the kakara desha, shadow kasi. Let's show an example, likshe. This is the madhya purusha eka, which is again atmane padam. Um, you have to use thasas. I'm going to skip the first few steps now. Until we get to the form, the shapluk we have done. We get thasas se, thasas se. Now we would have the Tita Atmane Padanam Tere in case of Thasa Se, a special rule which comes, a special rule. Um, also I mentioned to you many um, times is that um, this one Thasa Se. So uh, always finish the, the operation in 3.4 before moving on. Don't leave them behind. Don't leave them behind. The moment you finish the Tiptajji, the Tinga Deshaha, do not leave it until you finish 3.4. So Thasa Se is done. Okay. And we got, of course, Hodha comes here, Lid, Se. Then what happens is that after that, of course, here is no Dhode Lopaha, because Dhaka is followed by Sakaraha. But we have the Shadokasi. 
शकार ढकार यो हो ककार दिश भवती सकारे पर बिकम्स लिक से लिक से वैसे वे सेम एज इन इंग्लिश राइट लिख एंड टू लिक लिख एंड लिक ओ टाइम टू इनोवेट गीता वी हैव एंड टेस्ट गीता टुडे गीता मात्रे नमः गीता मात्रे लेली जैसे गसमान समंतान लोकान समग्रान वद नहीं ज्वलत भी ही तेजो भी रापुर जकक समग्रम भासस्तवो ग्राह प्रतपंति विष्णो लेली जैसे दिस इज़ फ्रॉम धातु लिख इन गीता इस दिस इज़ द यंगनतम से फ्रीक्वेंटेटिव फॉर्म बट धातु लिख इस देर लेली जैसे सो इन कम्स इन गीता लिख सेम इस टू लिक सो ओके so we got to lick say because we have lid say we had after hold ha because of shadow ka si we got to lick say then once you get that we can do the adesha pratyaja jo ho and then karsha sanyoge kshra become lick say lick say so after hold ha because sakara is falling become the dakara se sthani kakara adesha bhavati lick say let's go here again we won't be able to do all these forms let us look at maybe few of them lady Lady, what happens is that here we get the pugan talagu patasya cha guna adesha. Because patya tip, as pakaras and nit, we do not have sabadhatu kama pit, nit vat na bhavati, knititi nishedho na pravartate, tasmat karana pugan talagu patasya cha ityane na guna adesha bhavati becomes leh, leh plus ti. And of course we still get the hold haha, then jashastator jhod haha, Shtunashtuhu becomes laid dhi, laid dhi, dhodhe lo paha, le dhi, and you know, we, this, that, you know, dhra lo pe puru se gheer ghona, it's only anaha, only a i un, a i un, not, you know, not the e kara is not in that, so, so le dhi is final form, anyway, e kara already dheer ghaa, anyway, e kara already dheer ghaa, so it doesn't matter, but le dhi, so everything, the same as we did for lead hai except that dhra lo pe us dhir ghona ha we has no application here now lead ha ha same as the form lead hai pratya is tas here also we got lead ha lead ha because here also the you know the shastata or dhoda will apply equally so you know samana pravritti samana pravritti it will have equal application here and here with pratya is tas or tas we get all the same steps of course in here because the pratya tas or tas is this Sarvathakam, Sarvathakam Apit, you're going to get the Nitvat and then Kudanishedha. Otherwise, you're going to get the same steps, Hodha, Chashastator Zodha, Shtunashtuh, Dhodhe Lopaha, Dhalope Purusidhir Ghonaha, Lidha, Lidha. The one Lihanti, when you have the Ajadi Angam, I mean Ajadi Pratyaha, sorry, Jhontaha, then there's no question of Hodha, you know, only thing Kudanishedha, Lihanti. This will go same as this one, Lekshi. Here we have to use this thing which we just did here. After we get, after we do, of course, this Gunadesha because Sip is a Pit Pratyaha. Then once we do the, um, we become uh, Lekh, then Hodha becomes Laid, and Laid plus C, then Shadow Kasi, Shadow Kasi. So we get the Dhakara Sasthani Kakaradesha, then Arisha Pratyaha, Shatvam, and then Lekshi. Lif, lif me, lif vaha, lif vaha, lif vaha, lif maha. We don't have a jal falling because hold has only jali padante. They don't apply in these cases. Now, similarly, you can practice all of these. You know, we won't be able to do all of these in the class. So please practice them. There's no other rule that you need that besides the ones you already know. Okay. So please practice these forms or maybe we'll do one more here. Let's do this one. A late, a late. Let's do just one more. So same thing here as we did for the adhog. Slightly simpler, because dhatu lif at the pratyaya tip, then itascha become lif plus ta, meanwhile puganta laghupata stacha becomes lech ta, hanyabhyo dhirgha sruti asya pruttam hal, so the takar is aputta pratyaya, halanta mangyam becomes, becomes lech, and then adagamaha lunglang rung chodadattaha, so become a lech, so we have the form a lech, and you go to tripadikaryam, then hodhaha, because jali padante, jali padante, pratyay lope, pratyay lakshram, supting antam padam, pratyay tip came and went, 
because of itashchan hani abhyo dipatya was gone but still patya lope patya lakshanam sutting and the padam so it becomes kodha uh, can apply kodha jali atva padante so becomes a laid a laid in jalam jashwante vavasane a laid a laid okay let me leave you with that much and you practice this one of course this one is the uh, easiest one is the uh, Vidhiling because you don't have jaladi patte you have so lichyat and because yasut is udatto nitcha everywhere guna nishedha so lichyat etc. Atmani padam same thing please practice. Now let's look at the dhatu bru now. Bru. I'm sorry we don't. I'm not taking many more form because already you know more than half the class is gone. So we only have the class twice a month. But you will get many examples to practice. Okay. If something is not clear, always you know you can email us. Okay, let's look at the dhatu bru. Vyaktayam vachi, uh, which means that this means Vyaktayam means like you know coherent speech, like human beings' speech, coherent, understandable speech, not some random noise which has no meaning to it. So Vyaktayam vachi. So comes in Gita, Raja vachanam abravita. In the very beginning of Gita, vachanam abravita. That we can look at that sutra I think whatever it is, the second shloka of Gita, Raja. Vachanam Abhravita. So the, the Duryodhana has said to Dronacharya, Vachanam Abhravita. Okay, so what's special about this dhatu? Always you should ask this question. So, Atra Asya dhatu ho kim vaishishtyam. So, Kasma Krutak Griyate. Why you take it separately? What is special about this dhatu? Special thing is that, right, so there, there, there are two, three rules which apply only for dhatu bru. So, it makes it special. So, the rules are as follows. Bruha, bruha panchana madita, panchana madita aho bruha. Interesting rule which has the same bruha, bruha at the beginning at the end. Beginning at, at the end. So now what one is the, one is panchami, one is shashti. So one is panchami, one is shashti. So when he says bruha panchana adita aho bruha. Bruha panchana adita aho bruha. So now what, what does this mean? Look at the vritti. Bruvo bruha. Dittaha, Tibvadinam Panchanam, Nalladeyaha, Nalladeyaha Pancha Vasyaho, and then Bruvascha Aha Adeshaha. So these two things happen, happen simultaneously, happen simultaneously, is that in place of the Lat Pratyaha, in case you take it one step back, in place of Tiptasji, Siptas, the first five, Panchanam Adittaha, so the first five um, uh, pratyas, affixes, tiptasji, siptas, those five, which are coming in place of lat, which is following the dhatu bru. So bruvaha, of course in bruvaha, in bruvaha the sutram which has been used is the achishna dhatu bruvam yor yung uvangau. So bruvaha is the pratya nyasi. So the uvangadesh has been made, so bruvaha is panchami a question of bru. So following bru, if you have the Adesha Tiptas in place of Lat, if you have Tiptas G, Siptas, then they respectively get the substitutions Nal Atus Us Tal Atus Atus. So these five Nal Atus Us Tal Atus, they are the respective substitutions for these five Tiptas G, Siptas. When is the substitution take place? When they are when that following the dhatu bru and this whole thing is optional optionally so one more time bruha panchana so following dhatu bru now look at the prior rule by the way we have seen the prior rule we have a very good friend next door again we have a very good friend next door vido latova remember we said vido latova we just studied recently vido latova we had a we had a sutra recently with all the we just saw it. So that was Anubhuti is coming down with all the What did we have there? We had the form Veda, Nattam, Vetha Parantapa, Gita, Vetha we had, you know, all those forms we had. So Viduhu, Imraja Shayo, Viduhu, chapter 9 of Gita we had. Sakale Neha Mahata, Yogo Nashta Parantapa, Sevayam Maya Tejya, Yoga Prokta Sparatana, Bhaktos Misaka Cheti Rasyam Hita Duttama. I think chapter chapter 4, I'm sorry, chapter 4 it comes, which is the, you know, Raja Shayo Viduho, Raja Shayo Viduho, yeah, Viduho, anyway, so Vidho Latova we have seen, and Vidho Latova is Anantaram Puram Sutra, the prior, the prior rule, so Vitte Vet 
Tehe, Lataha, Purse Padanam, Nala, they are Vasibu. Only thing when, when in the case of Dhatu with, it was, it was, it was still optional, but Sarvesham uh, Navana, so means all nine of them take the, um, took the Nal Adi Adesha. But here, the next sutra, which is uh, Dhatu Bru, that is only Bruha Panchana Maditaha from the beginning. Beginning means in the order Tiptasji, not in the English order of first person like that, but Tiptasji in that order from the beginning. From the beginning, these uh, first five means Tiptasji, Siptas. So only five take the Adeshaha of Nallatusustallatus in the case of Bru. While in the Vid, they all nine took the Adesha optionally. So Vidolatova, Bruha Panchana Madita, Aho Bruha. And when that happens for Bru, this Bru takes the Ah Adeshaha. Bru takes the Ah Adeshaha. So that, that is that is the happens, thus, that means that it, it, it is thus Sanni Yogena. The Sanni Yogena means simultaneously with that. These two happen simultaneously. That when these Nal Atus Us Thal Atus come as Adesha, optionally of course, in place of you know the Tiptas, Tiptas G, Siptas following Bru, then when those Adeshas take place, Bru takes the Ah Adesha. Ah Adesha. So they, that happens simultaneously. So <coughs> let's read it here. Is uh, so okay. Let's go back to today's lesson. It says Bruvaha Litaha, following Bru the uh, Lataha. Sorry, Bruvaha Bruvo Lataha. Tibbadi Nam. So Tib first five Tib Tajji Sip uh, Thus, which come in place of Lat, which follows Bru. Panchana Nala Deha Vasihu Bruvascha Aha Adesha, and simultaneously Bru takes Aha Adesha. So let's look at an example here. First of all, how to bring Bring has the uh, Bring has the uh, Chavarga Pancham as an it. So the same sutram, which is the Sarita Gnataha Kartavipraya Kriyapal, it becomes Vaipadi. But this is only, you know, which is it's only talking about the first five Tiptas Ji Siptas. It's only in Parasepadam, only the sutram applies. Not in anything else. It doesn't apply anything. If you look a little bit, little bit before that, which we see, we will see this shortly in a few weeks when we come back. That is that parasvai padanam nallatusthalatusanalvamaha. See, so this is in the case of litla ka. But parasvai padanam, parasvai padanam. So thing only in parasvai padam. Of course, lit. I mean the the vid falling took it optionally in all nine places. Bru took it in five places optionally in lit. So this is in Lat, by the way, Vidho Latova and Bruvaha Panchana Vadita Aho Bruvaha. This sutram which is Parasipadaram Nalatusus is in Lit Lakaraha, which is not today's lesson, but Anuvritti is coming down from there. So 3482 is not in Lat, that's for Lit Lakaraha, which is not today's lesson. But Anuvritti is coming down from there. So um, so this we are talking only of Parasipadam in this entire thing. I mean 82, 83, 84, only Parasipadam you are talking, Parasipadanam. Nothing else. Even though Dhatu Bhuri is, is Vaipadi, in, in, in Atmane Padam we'll have, we, we will not have this, you know, uh, this Sutra uh, 8384 Bruha Panchana will apply there. Okay, let's look at the example. Let's look at the um, Parasipadam in the case. So it's Vaipadi. Let's look at Parasipadam is used because that's where the speciality is. Tattva Vartate Vaishishtyam. Tadrakshamaha. Let's see that one. So Bru plus Lat. Uh, again, skip the first few steps. We get a tip adeshaha. Now look at what happens here. Optionally, we'll get the nalla adesha in place of tip, and then uh, simultaneously, bru takes the ah adeshaha. So, um, of course, anekach is sarvasya. This ah replaces the entire bru. So then we get the um, shap and shap look, and we get ah plus null in null pratyaha chutu halantyam. Anubandha lope, akara vishishyate, anubandha lope. Get the form aha, idam aha mahipate. So idam aha comes in Gita. Aha forms come in Gita. So Gita should be, I hope, you know, uh, well practiced. So idam aha mahipate. Let me see if you can find it. Sena yor bhayor madhye idam aha mahipate. Why is this not? Here it is. It is 1.21. Rishikesham tadavakyam idamaha mahipate. Aha. Aha. 
um, there's one anyway maybe I shouldn't have opened this up but there's one complication here is that is that sometimes this form ah is used in a past tense in fact maybe it's a good blessing <laughs> this is the Gita Anugraha so Bhagavad Gita reminding me that this form aha in literature is sometimes used in bhutarthi bhute how do we justify that because because in terms of you know ashtadhyayi you know panini clearly says lataha lataha sorry. so now how can we say idam aha means he said this right in the past how do we justify that one way to do that is that when we when we looked at this sutram which is you know chadayo satve you know, there was a Gana Sutra. Then we can make an, that ah as an avyayam. Again, I'm a little bit digressing a little bit here, but it's a good maybe it's a good time to look at this. We can make ah as an avyayam, as you know, tinganta pratirupakam avyayam. So, in order to justify the past tense use, to justify the past tense use of the uh, ah, with what we do is that we make a, no, V means it has been done by the scholars is that we have to we'll make an avyam out of it which like you know uh, like a word like asti asti like get a word like astikyam so asti is you know how a word like ahankaraha mamata so this mama is you know is, is, is subantam asti is, is a tingantam so but what we make is that the, the language sometimes they use as you know as nipathas as they get the avyas so this aha also is used like that in literature. So don't be surprised if you see aha used in the past tense, even though Parnini is saying that is used in lataha, so in, in, in lat lakara. So there we had, I think there's a Gana Sutra that we looked over here somewhere. Mm. Uh, uh, this is somewhere. Suradhini Patamumyam Chadayo Satve. Uh, yeah, there was a sutra, anyway, maybe you can find Paraviha, Chadayo, Satve. That under under sutra, maybe I can find it here. So let me look at it here. That uh, some of these forms which mimic, which look like, look like a subantam or a tingantam, you know, they are they are really uh, an avyam. Then the avyam can take on different meanings and then we can justify the use of aha in the past tense. Otherwise, as far as Ashtadhyaya is concerned, uh, no, 58, I'm sorry, that's not it. No, Pradeha, Chadi, 57, I'm sorry, let me try. My, the Vartikam, the Ganasutram is here somewhere. Uh, uh, okay, okay, now that I've, I've spent so much time, let me look at, let me look at it here, Ganasutram, okay, should be here, I think, or maybe it might be in the other document. Sutram. I know we had this, we have done Gana Sutram in the class. Uh, Gana Sutram. Okay, let us uh, no. No. Uh, okay, Okay, uh, Okay. Maybe it, says, maybe it might be in here, but the Gana Sutram says that you know that we can those things which which mimic a um, uh, let's see uh, no. okay anyway so we can it is Gana Sutram says that you know tingan the pati rupa kam we, we can have a an ambayam which is the tingan the pati rupa kam so that's the way we justified this form which is ah in the past tense. Okay, let's continue. So what we have here is that, so we get the form aha. So if you look at the, the um, table for this, we have aha plus braviti. The braviti is nothing special because actually we do it from braviti also we need one more sutra. So let's hold on to braviti. Let's look at the next sutra for today, which is the ahastha. Ahastha. Jali pare. Look at the number here now, by the way. Number here is from 8 to 35. 8 to 35. We were just in that region right now. Just then we are looking at some rules in that region because we just used the um, hodhaha and then we used the dadir dhator khaha, naho thaha and ahasthaha, ahasthaha. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, okay, I think Radha found the Ganasutram for me. Like one second. Pasarga uh, vibhakti Ganasutram. Yes, words which mimic. Okay, I was in this class under. Under 268, okay, sorry, under 260, thank you, Rana. 268 is a sutram, okay. Okay, yeah. 
thank you. I know we had the Gunnar from somewhere. Let's look at this under 268. Uh, yeah, 268 here is a list of words. Anipata, uh, Chadigana. Yeah, here it is. Upasarya Vibhakti Sura Paritrupa Kashcha. Just the Gunnar Sutram. Thank you, Radha. It's words which mimic a Upasarga. What do you mean a Vibhakti? This is the one. Because Vibhakti Paritrupa Kashcha. Vyakti means, means by Vyakti Sutram, we get the soup and this thing with Vyakti yeah? so, 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 something which mimics the Subantam or a Tingantam, they can get the, uh, like a word like Asti, Aham. So here we can include the Ah is included in here also. Okay, thank you. So this is where that kind of Sutram we had in the class. Under, under, yes, sir. Yes. Uh, this is also from this uh, Guru Yes, yes, ahu, yes, they say correct. Kechi dahu. Which one? Prahuravyam, yes. Pra, prahur, yes, yes. Ashvatam prahuravyam, yes, thank you. Uh, now, chapter 15 of Gita. Chapter 15, same thing. The bru takes the ah adesha when, you know, this uh, g takes the us adesha. Nal atus us. We get the form and the pra upasarga become prahu. Correct. Chapter 15 of Gita, thank you. That's the Pratham Purusha Bhavachanam. Now, Ahastaha is again, it is, what is this? Jali Pare. Hakarasya. So, um, the Hakara of the form Ah gets the Thakara Adesha in form by Jal. So, Gita comes in, you know, uh, uh, comes in chapter number, chapter number 11. I think that third, third shloka, chapter, chapter 11, number 3, chapter 11, Number three is that Saramit Evam Eta Jatatatam Atmanam Parameshwara Dashtumichamite Rupam Aishuram Purushot Evam Eta Jatatatam. It is how you say it is Evam Eta Jata Atatam Yatatam Atta Evam Eta. This is as you say, it is as you say Atatam Atta Atta is Brahmishi. Second equal Brahmishi Atta. Let's look at what we have here. So Ahastaha. Now let's follow this form again. We look at the um, Madhya Purusha Ekavachanam, and again, this is also all in Purusha Padam only, because we are talking, as, as we discussed before, that this only this Tip Tash G Sip Tash only these five take it. So when take the Pratya um, Sip over here, this uh, what happens is that the Sip takes the Thalla Desha optionally um, by this by the Sutram Bruha Panchana Madita Aho Bruha. Um, and then what happens is that the sanyogena means in, in connection with that the bru takes the aha desha. So I said you in this in the sutram aho bruha. This bruha is shashti here, which is panchami here. So in place of bru, there's aha desha. And these are taking this uh, these five substitution so taking following bru. Following bru, the 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 tiptasji take the nal atus etc. deshas. In place of bru, there's a aha desha. That's what we have. We get Aha, Shab, sorry, we're down here. We get Madhya um, Purusha Ekvachanam. We get Ah plus Thal. Ah plus Thal. Now, um, of course, Shab Katri, Shab, Shab Luk takes place. Now we have Ah Tha. After Shab Luk, we get Ah Tha. Ah Tha. At this point, Ah Tha comes into play. So the, the Hakara of, of, the, of, the, of the form Ah. That takes the uh, Thakara Adesha. Because you know Anurutti of the Hodha, the Thakara Anurutti is coming down. So Anurutti of you know, is coming down from there. So the Hakara of the form Ah takes the um, Thakara Adesha. So Jali Parataha. Jali Parataha. So that is, that is what is happening here. Now, um, but actually you can, you can use the Alonti Paribhasha here also. Alontyasya paribhasha is there. So alontyasya means that the ending hakara only we take. Alontyasya can be used. Now the question comes in. Look at the next step, by the way. This is an interesting step here now. So we get we got atth by astha. Hakara became thakara. We got atth. And then we get karicha. Now one question comes here again, which is, you know, I just want to point some in some interesting for you. See, if this ahastha only applies Jali Paratha, isn't it? So it's only is going to apply. If you look at the five pratyas, Nal Atus Us, Thal Atus, because the Aha Adesha only comes in five places. When Nal Atus Us, Thal Atus are there, correct? Out of those five, 
नल अनुबंध लोप इज अकार अतुस इज इज अजादि उस इज अजादि थल इज झलादि एंड अतुस इज अजादि सो ओनली प्रत्यय व्हिच इज झलादि इन दोस फाइव इज थल द रिमेनिंग फोर आर नॉट झलादि प्रत्यय बिकॉज़ नल अनुबंध लोप इज अकार अजादि अतुस अजादि उस अजादि थल इज द ओनली झलादि and then the fifth one atthasis is ajadi so basically what i'm saying is that this ahastaha will only apply will only apply when a is followed by thakaraha then why does pani say ahastaha why not say ahastaha then we don't have why not, why not make the alpaprana adesha thakaraha pratham varna adesha kasman dikriyate kasma thakara vidhiyate atra na thakaraha because why do we always have to do to the kharicha you know so why do we have to use kharicha if panini had just spared us one step by making the takara as a directly because one more time this ahasta will only apply when ah is followed by thal which is takara and then because the thal is there we are going to get the uh, kharicha we will get art as the final form then the question comes is that why does panini make the takara adesha why not say ahasta and this is a question actually which i had but looking at many 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 places to find the answer on this and actually this nagesh bhattaha and it's surprising how these people think of these things you know i just i was amazed at this answer that he gave you know i was looking at a lot of places and surprisingly this nagesh gives the answer in the comment to siddhanta kamudi brot chabdendu shekhara this is what nagesh has this this is the greatness of nagesh i can appreciate now but see what is there's no answer for this isn't it because if we going to apply kharicha all the time then what is the point of making thakara desha this is what he says i read, I read out this is from the vrat chabdendu shekhara which is commentary on siddhanta kamudi says that nacha ahastaha ityeva sutratam so don't say nacha don't say that pani should have said ahastaha only ityeva sutratam why not make sutram ahastaha why is, why not महाप्राण आदेश प्रकरण त्यागस्य अनुचितत्वात अनुचितत्वात व्हाट डज ही मीन व्हाट ही मीन्स इज दैट लुक एट दिस प्रकरण लुक एट दिस सेक्शन वी आर इन द अष्टाध्याय राइट नाउ इट सेस हो ढा दादे धातोर घा नहो ढा सो वी हैव वी आर इन द महाप्राण आदेश प्रकरण इन दिस व्हेन पीपल मेमोराइज द अष्टाध्याय दे आर दे आर डूइंग हो ढा दादेर धातोर घा अनंतरम नहो धा सो इन ऑल इट डिडन वांट टू स्पॉइल दिस महाप्राण आदेश प्रकरणम बाय मेकिंग अ तकार आदेश हियर इवन दो वी हैव टू अप्लाई खरीच ऑल द टाइम वी डू आस्था ही सेस दैट महाप्राण आदेश प्रकरण त्यागस्य अनुचितत्वात अनुचितत्वात इट्स नॉट अप्रोप्रिएट to skip the mahaprana and put the alpaprana adesh in between in the ashtadhyay like that because people will remember when they memorize and they chant in succession it will be it will not be a good thing to skip that so it's amazing isn't it how they think of these things i mean i would have never thought of this but anyway this is the greatness of nagesha so he's given this comment over here because the question is obvious that if you're going to use this only when th follows you have to use the kharicha all the time then why do you want to make mahaprana adesha because prakarana because the prakaranam the prakaranam is of mahaprana adesha so it is fits in the prakaranam in the ashtadhyayi that's what it is said okay anyway so ahasta has sutram here which applies only in one place when you, when you have a jal following which only be in this case thal because aha only comes when you have nal atus sthal atus so we get atha now of course when when we don't do the this form then we get the sutram bruva eat ब्रुवईट ब्रुवईट सेज ब्रुवहा परस्य हलादे हे पिता सर्व धातुकस्य ईट स्यात व्हेन वी हैव अ गुड फ्रेंड हियर आल्सो बाय द वे वी हैव अ नाइस फ्रेंड हियर आल्सो बिकॉज़ वी हैव डन इन द अष्टाध्याय द सूत्रम व्हिच इज द असिच्यो प्रुक्ते ई असिच्यो प्रुक्ते अस्तिसिच्यो प्रुक्ते अस्तिसिच्यो प्रुक्ते अस्तिसिच्यो प्रुक्ते वी हैव डन दैट सूत्रम यू नो व्हिच वी डिड द फॉर्म आसीत You know, we did that. Anuruti of eat was coming from here. Bruva eat. So now we see we have some very good friend in Ashtadhyay, some very good sutra that we know already. So we have already seen, seen this. We already seen the eat agama, eat agama in the 
when you read the form as in the form in the form asit so asisicho prutte asisicho prutte we have seen so anubhuti of eat comes into that sutram from this sutram bruva eat so um, this sutram we saw in the last class itself we saw the asisicho prutte so um, okay so if you so if you recall this rule then it will not be surprising to this number which just came 7383 so this number will click in your head so the asisicho prutte we have seen Okay, so what does Bruva Eid say? Um, says that Bruva Parasya Hala Dehe Pitaha Sarvadhatu Prasya Eid Syat. You can look at the Vritti, look at it carefully. It says that Hala Dehe Pitaha Sarvadhatu Prasya. Pratyev, the Pratyev is following the Dhatu Bru. It is a Pit Pratyeha. It is a Sarvadhatu Pratyeha. It is Hala Dehe. Then it takes the Eid Agamaha. Eid Agamaha. If you look at the Pratham Purusha Ek Pachanam, Parasya Padam. Then what we have, when you skip the first few steps, we get uh, tip, uh, shap, shap, look, we get bru plus ti. Now at this point, this pratyaya tip, of course, thinks it's samaradhatukam. It is haladi pratyaya. It's a pit pratyaya. So therefore, we get the eed agamaha, adyantau takitau, anubandalopaha, bru eeti. And then, here, we get the uh, samaradhatukam, arjadhatukam, yoho gunaha, bru eeti. Because, Echo Yavaya Braviti. So one more time. Bruva eat. Nurti comes into the sutra which you have seen before, which is the Astisicho Prutte. So here it says that Bruvaha Parasya Halade He Pitaha Sarvadhatukasya eats Yata. Pratya has to be Pit Pratyha, it has to be Sarvadhatuka Pratyha, it has to be Haladi Pratyha. Then we get the eat agamaha. Of course, here we get the Gunadesha Sarvadhat Pradhaka Yoho Echo Yamaya Braviti. In fact, that's what we saw in the Gita. The Vishloka Raja Vachanam Abravit. Abravit. Abravit is the Langlakara. Itascha. Otherwise, everything is in the Addagama. Everything is the same. Look at the forms over here now. We look at the um, table. We did the form Aha. We did the form Atha. We did the form Braviti. Now, Bravi shield is the same way, only thing we get the Adesha Pratyayoho because Sip is also is a Haladi Pit Pratyayaha. I mean, Ahatuhu, again, the, uh, get the Aha Adesha and Atus Adesha for the Pratyatas because Bruha Panchana Madita um, and then Aho Bruha. So that's Sutra which we just saw, the first five. So the first five places, Bruha Panchana Madita Aho Bruha. And in New Sutra, repeated a few times. So his first five, which is this aha, aha tuhu, nothing special here, and then ahuhu, like in uh, thank you for Vasu, Gita chapter 15, Ashvatam Prahura Vyam, Shannasi Yascha Paranani, Yastam Vedasa Vedamita. In fact, when you chant Gita next time, you chant chapter 15, you know, we can uh, look at this. Uh, um, very first line, Urdha Mula Madha Shakam Ashvattam Parahurabhyam. When, when, when you recite that shlokaha, think of this sutram which we just studied today, which is the Bruva Panchanam Adita Aho Bruvaha. Bruva Panchanam Adita Aho Bruvaha. So, get the form Ahuhu. Yes. Yeah, there is one more, chapter 17, first shloka. Oh, that good. Tattvam Aho Rajattama. That's, that's, no, that Aho is an Avyayam. Okay. Sattam Aho, that Aho is an Avyayam. Sattam Aho Rajasattam is that's an Avyayam. Um, so now comes Atta we just saw and Ahatu. Otherwise, the only thing here is the Eid Agamaha and Braviti and Bravishi should, should be, then which has to be Pit, has to be Haladi. So, so you know, same thing, Bravimi, Bravimi. In this form, Bruma is common in the Bhashyam, by the way. For those of you who read any Tika, Vayam Brumaha. Iti Prapte Vayam Brumaha. When you, when you present the, when you present the, you know, Pura Paksha, you present the argument of the Pura Paksha, the counter argument, you know, the, 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 the objection you present, then say Vayam Brumaha. Now we reply to the objection. This Brumaha is very common in the Bhashyam. So we now, we now reply. Now we present our reply to this. We refute the argument, you know, the Pura Paksha, Brumaha. So, so, Bruvaha, Bruvaha, of course, in this case, there is no Gunadesha because the same thing, Sarvadhatakama Pitta. And then, um, here all of these places, uh, we get the, uh, here we get the uh, Iragamaha, but when we do the Bruhi, because of the you know, Sevya Picha, 
So serya pitcha. So that becomes a pitcha. So because then we don't get any ira agamaha. Of course in all this place we get tasa sting pam tam tam tamaha. Nothing really special. Of course in the form bruvanti or bruvantu we get the uvanga desha. When after doing jhonta we get the uvanga desha. Achishundhatu bruvam. Your young vanga, vanga desha. So again, we cannot do all the forms in the class. We we'll send you examples. Please, in the in the form bravani and bravava, bravama, arutthamas pitcha. So even though it's a pit, it is not it is not haladi pit. So we cannot get the ida agamaha. Only guna desha, echo java yava, bravama. Um, Okay, so please practice this in Bruyat, of course, when the Yasur comes, it is it is a bit. It's not Haladi, it's also a bit. So there's no there's no Iragama, there's no Gunadesha, so it's very straightforward forms. Atmane Padam, nothing here there is there is nothing we not having any steel Atmane Padam. There's no pit pratteha. Only pit will come over here when we look at the uh Putta Purusha of the Lord, but this they are not Haladi. So here also Buruvai doesn't apply. Buruvai doesn't apply here also. Okay, so practice this please. Now let's look at the next thing for today, which is about next 20 minutes, which is uh, we start the Jyotya Adi Ganaha. Jyotya Adi Ganaha will be start today. This is, this is a very important lesson today because of the fact for the, we're going to see the Abhyasa Karyani, which is going to be with us for a long, long time, for many, many years. So. I hope today we'll introduce this this concept of you know what happens in the abhyasa, what happens in abhyasa. So let's start with this. Now jyotya di ganha is a tritiya ganha, such a third ganha which comes place. Very short ganha, short. It has only few dhatus in there, only few dhatus. Uh, in fact, if I look at the jyotya di, I think it's less than twenty dhatus in jyotya di ganha. Let me check. Actually, the one that I have, dhatu partha. Well, it has about no. 26 dhatus it has. So very so short, you know, alpa akaraha. It has some important dhatus like, you know, jihoti, juvati, you know, um, bibrati, comes in Gita. So uh, let's look at what is, what is special is why do these dhatus not fit in the vadi ganaha? So always ask the question, you know, why do these dhatus uh, not fit in, yes, thank you, there is, uh, to thine, this Ravi, thank you, Ravi. Adhatu, you know, dadati, dadhati, you know, very important dhatus, da and dha, you know, so dudai, dane, and you know, also this this dhatu, dha. Yes, it has some very important dhatus in there. So we can also dudai, dharana, portion, yoho is there. So it, it, it's a small gana, which has some very important dhatus in there. So we cannot, it cannot ignore. So let's see what is special about this gana. Because every dhatu as default goes in the vadi ganaha. If we only if it doesn't fit there for some reason, it comes out of there and goes into the other special ganas. What is speciality is right here? Juhatyaji bhyashluho. Look at the number again. Look at the number two four seventy five. We already just studied for the last month and a half. I think two months, whatever. Uh, we studied this sutram adipravrti bhyashapaha. We were using it happily for these last few weeks. Now we have to leave this friend of ours and go next door. Go next door to Jyotya Adibya Shluho. Now why does Panini use Shluho here? And why not do you the look only? Why say Shluho? There's a reason for that. Reason for that. Jyotya Adibya Shluho. Anyway, we we seen the Shapaha. The Shap took Shap look took place when you the Adadi Ganaha. The Jyotya Adi Ganaha, the Shap takes the Shlu illusion. Shlu. So now that is the speciality. Now the shlu triggers something else, which is going we're going to see that. But we have a very good friend next door, which Shapa, which we have been using. So let's say goodbye to the time being and go to you know three steps down, Jyotyadibyashlaho. What it says is that Jyotyadibya. When you look at the word Jyotyadi, Jyoti, Jyoti, remember we saw the Vartikam. Ikshipo dhatu nirdeshe, which is that to make a dhatu nirdesha, to refer to a dhatu. Panini might use a pratya ik or a shtip. He has used shtip pratya here because juhoti is the form of the dhatu who. Pratyam purusha ek vachanam lat lakaraha. So juhoti, the pratya shtip Panini has used and so juhoti, so he has been referred to dhatu who. 
dhatu who is referred to by the term jyoti so jyoti has no other significance except refer dhatu who so shapah shlusyat when following the shap follows a dhatu of the jyotya diganaha then the shap takes the shlu elision now how do we know what is the shlu because pani says pratyasya lukshlu lupah lukshlu lupah entire pratya is gone because pratyasya lukshlu lupah lukshlu adarshanam lupah pratyas lukshlu lupah entire pratya takes special elision lukshlu or lup we just saw the look at the pratyasya shakaha so we saw that uh, and now we are seeing the shlu lukshlu lupah lukshlu lupah so now um, okay let's take an example this is the form jyoti okay so this is um jyotya ganaha it is the prasipadi dhatu because this i don't think that there is any nimittam for atmane padam so the prasipadi uh, you know unless you have some nimittam for atmane padam it will be you know a prasipadi dhatu now let us see um the first form prathupurusha ek vasha mein lat first few steps are common i mean lat and when the lopaha tip then shap comes in here instead of doing the adipravritti bhya shapaha now we do the jyotya bhya shlu so who ti we got here so shap came kartri shap jyotya bhya shlu and now comes the speciality of shlu why is pointing this say shlu because sutram shlau dhatur dvestaha look at this number again by the way look at 6110 we also have a good friend over here also which we have seen to be previously which is the ubhya abhyastam we have seen you know the sutra which we saw before ubhya abhyastam we find the abhyasta sanya ubhya abhyastam we had so this is the in fact we have seen that there is two things that start there two places where pani is prescribed dvitvam dvitvam which is duplication he duplication the coin is the called reduplication the coin english so this is from 611 to 6112 and we also have seen from 8 1 to um 8 115 pani pani in this chapter so so these are two places we have seen it briefly before we have seen it because we had defined the sanya we had not defined we had looked at the the definition of the ubhe abhyastam if you can sutra suchi so we have had a small taste of abhyasah of this we have we have had a small taste of abhyasah we studied the sutra 615 ubhe abhyastam because we had sutam nabhyasta chatu remember we had that long back no to remember that so that we define what is abhyastam so in this abhyas prakaranam of the 6th chapter not of the 8th chapter of the 6th chapter only when those when you duplicate something both of them together got the sanya of abhyastam so shash chadvit prakarane ye dve vihite the duplicate which took place in this section from 611 to 6112 te ubhe samudite taken together abhyasta sanyasta you know they get the sanya abhyasta so uh, now um, what do we have right now we have this uh, we have this sutra which is shlau which we just saw shlau so that is a 6110 6110 so now there are in nashta jai not to digress too much but we, there are basically four main rules pradhanataya chatvari sutrani vidyante abhyas vidhayaka sutrani chatvari e there are only four main rules and all of them are important and one of them is shlau they are in this order here niti dhato ranabhyasasya like in the very first thing of gita dhatarashtra uvacha that uvacha has an abhyasa in there that to become what is taken what is also taken samprasaranam but uvacha liti dhatu nabhyasasya sanyango ho we saw the form leliyase today leliyase this became leliyase sanyango ho in fact the very first shloka of gita dharma kshetre kuru kshetre samaveta yud sabaha yu yud sabaha this is abhyasa there also dhatu yud yud sabaha then shlau and then changi changi these four changi is only lung lakara which is not very common i think the changi is not in gita i don't think changi is in gita but these here in many 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 places so this is going to be very important topic very important lesson we are now entering into a territory which we are going to be be using a lot a lot as we go along so um 
Okay, so what does Shlau say? Um, Dhatur Dvestaha. Dhatur is followed by Shlu. Shlu is basically the illusion of the Shab, the special illusion of Shab by using the term Shlu. That is, then it gets duplicated. So we had the form Hu plus T we had, becomes Hu, Hu, T by Shlau. Shlau. So two things here is that we have the section of 6.1, which we have seen before. Now, one thing is that the 6.1 is a little bit more complicated than it looks right now because in 6.1 we have this adhikaras going over here of eka chodve pratamasya and ajale dvitiyasya. We don't need to make things complicated right now. So we are not looking at these in full detail. So because we don't need, because he says that if we have an aneka acha, then there are complications. So let's talk into that right now because there's no dhatu in the, in the juhotya which aneka acha. So right now we duplicate the whole thing. That, that's enough for us for a time being. Later on we see situations when we have the term which is taking duplication as more than one vowel, we will have to come to 611612. But right now we can, so even though 611612 is coming down here, but because in Jyotyadi Ganaha there is no Anekash Dhatu, so we don't have to tackle too much details right now. But in the back of your mind, we are going to have to look at 611612. One six one to get on when we look at the more complicated situations. So right now we'll keep it simple. Let's make it who who t. Now we saw the ubhyabhyastam, but before that purva abhyasa, very very simple sutra, purva abhyasa. So we saw ubhyabhyastam, but this, so both when this when this deduplication takes place in this section of chapter six of the Ashtadhyay six dot one, the first twelve rules, then both the terms taken. Together got this sanyap abhyastam. But out of those two that duplicated those two terms, the, 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 the first one, the prior one, takes this sanyap abhyasaha. Puro abhyasaha. Puro abhyasaha. Look at the vritti. Atra means astin takarane. So in, in this, in this, in this uh, duplication which is prescribed in this chapter 6, first padaha, first two sutras, atra. Ye Dve vihite, that duplication which has been prescribed, those two terms, tayoho, puru abhyasanyasya, the prior one text is called abhyasaha. So why do we need that now? Now we are going to come to a very important thing which we are going to use in many, many, many situations for a long time and that is the section starting. So please mark this section. I think, I think we have not seen this one before. We, have, we are entering into a new, new region right now. So bring your passports, your new region to enter into. This is the Abhyasaha. This is the what special operations takes place in the Abhyasa Bhagaha. What are the special operations that take place in the Abhyasaha? We just saw what is Abhyasaha. When the when duplication, deduplication takes place, the chapter six in six dot one, then of the, the duplicated term, the, the first one takes this Anyap Abhyasaha. And now that Abhyasaha, in that special things start happening. And that all takes place from 7458. Atra Lopo Abhyasasya. Atra Abhyasasya. This Abhyasasya Anuvritti goes down to Apada Parisamaptehe. Up to the end of 7.4 Abhyasasya. So the, all these operations from 7, 4, 58, all these down, going down below, they are going to apply, generally speaking, in the Abhyasa Bhagaha. Abhyasa Bhagaha. Very, very important. You will see this many, many times in number of situations. So if you pay attention now, we are going to use these rules over and over and over again. Okay. So what do we need right now from this section? We need this. We need this rule, which is, by the way, one thing actually right now is that there's one rule which is not in this section. There's one rule which applies in the Abhyasa Bhaga, which is, which is for some reasons, it is way back in 8.4 Abhyase Charcha. Abhyase, because Panini has some good anurutis coming down that he wants to use. He may have some other reasons also. So Abhyase Charcha is the one sutra. Which is, it, it is, of course, as the sutra implies, it is talking about an operation in the Abhyasa Bhagaha, but that is not in 7.4. 7, 7.4.58 to end of 7.4 is the main section, but this one rule of Abhyasa Charcha is outside of that, is in 8.4. Abhyasa Charcha. Okay, so we had this, this hu hu ti. So we had this hu hu ti. 
Now comes Kuhoshchu. There are basically here about four main rules. Samanya Niyamaha, which applies now. Okay, let me give a small tour of this right now. Is that first of all, Pandini gives some operation which apply to any kind of Abhyasa, no matter why the Abhyasa took place. There will be some general operation which takes place in the Abhyasa. In the Abhyasa Bhagaha, there will be some modification which takes place no matter what kind of abhyasa. What kind of abhyasa means that I just told you there are these four basic rules which talk about when does abhyasa take place. So when the lit pratyaya follows, when sanyang is being used or when the shlu or chang. So no matter what it is because of this, this, this or this, there will be some common operations to be done in the abhyasa and they are given first by Panini in this over here which is these four Rasvaha, Haladisheshaha, Kuhoshchuhu, and Uratta. These are the four. After that, Panini goes specific kinds of abhyasas, what will happen. Like he says, liti. Something happens, liti. When abhyasa is due to lit, when lit follows. Then Panini is going to say, shlau, which will need that. So these are now special operations in the abhyasa only caused by shlu, not by other, other things. So in the beginning here, Panini gives the operation which takes place in any kind of abhyasa, no matter from which the abhyasa came, what is falling. And then we go down deeper and we see specific, specific rules coming below that. So here there are these main four rules. Rasvaha, Aladisheshaha, Uhoshchuhu, and then Urat. It really will really give a great bang for the buck right now if you mark these four rules and study them. We will not see all of them today. We see, I think, one or two today. I know time is running out right now, as usual. We may see them next time. But please mark these four. Rasvaha, Aladisheshaha, the Kuhoshchuhu, and the Urat. In fact, you may also mark this fifth one, which is the Sharpurvar Khayaha. This is an apavada for this Aladisheshaha. Aladisheshaha. But anyway, we'll either at least take these four. 59, 60, 62, and 66. Okay, so okay, let's dive into this again. Time is running out. I try to. I don't want to go too fast, so I'm trying to kind of moderate between going too fast and going too slow. If I go too slow, we're going to take 15 years for Yakaradam. If I go too fast, then it becomes too. You know, it's not clear. So uh, let's see if we can go another maybe five minutes and at least finish this one or two forms and give you homework. So. Uh, Kuhoshchu. So first one today. Today is an important day. We are seeing the first sutram in this bhagaha of Atalopa Bhyasasya, which is 7458 onwards. We are entering a new territory. It might be a little bit foreign for us for the first few times, but trust me, after a while, you are going to know this territory very well. Very well. So Atalopa Bhyasasya. Start from Bhyasasya from here. So Kuhoshchu. What does this say? In fact, don't not, by the way, this sounds like, you know, Choho Kuhu. Be careful now. <laughs> This sounds like Choho, it's almost like the reverse of that almost. Kuhosh Choho. Of course, Choho Kuhu was 8 to 30, which was Jili Padante. This is in the Abhyasa Bhaga now. Kuhosh Choho. This is Kuhosh Choho. And that Choho Kuhu was another other one round. So now, Kuho, so Kuhosh Choho. So Abhyasa Kavarga Hakar Yo Chavarga Deshasyas. Abhyasa Kavarga Hakar Yo. So in the Abhyasa Bhaga, again Purva Abhyasa, again Purva Abhyasa only applies to the Dvittam done in 6.1, not in 8.1. So um, then if you have in that Abhyasa, if you have a Kavarga or a Hakara, then we get the Chavarga Adesha. Of course we use the Sutra 1150, Sthanyantara Tamaha, Sthanyantara Tamaha, Sthanyantara Tamaha, Sthanyantara Tamaha, take the closest substitute. Don't forget that the Hakaraha is a Mudubaranaha, it's a, it's a Hash, which is a Mahapranaha. So you take Chaturtha Varga Adesha. So in place of Hakara, the Adesha will be. So the Chavargaha is the Adesha here. In, in the Chokuhu, the Chavarga was the Sthani. It was a Sthani thing being replaced. It's reverse, reverse now. Reverse of Chokuhu. This Kuhosh Chokuhu. Be careful of these two. The Chokuhu was Jalipadante, Chavarga was a Sthani. And the Kavarga was the Adesha. Now here we have the Chavarga as the Adesha and the Kavarga and also Hakara in this case also Hakara as the Sthani. And this is the Abhyasa Bhaga. That Chohokuhu was in Jalipadante. 
So two different things, but can be confusing. So in place of the k, kh, g, gh, ng, and h, we get the sanyantara tamaha, the closest substitute in terms of the the uh, the place of pronunciation um, and the match in the alpha prana maha prana. We get the j, ch, j, j, ny, j. So in place of hakaraha, we get chaturthavarna adeshaha because hakaraha is a maha prana. So mudubarna it's a it's a hush letter. So we get the so now we had this hu hu ti, we get ju hu ti, ju hu ti. Of course in the meanwhile, sarvadhatika arhatika yoho guna adesha ju ho ti, ju ho ti. Now we'll take, let's complete this form, that we'll just take maybe just two more rules and we'll stop today. This will be out of time now. So, abhyase charcha, but the sutram is not in 7.4. This sutram is 8.4 because we have Anuvritti nicely coming down from the prior sutram, which is we, we just use that. In fact, here we have two very good friends on both next door. Because here we have not only do we have a friend on up, we have a friend below also. Because we just used today, we just used today the Jalam Jashashi. We also use Kharicha. In fact, we have friends on both sides. Jalam Jashashi, we have Kharicha also. In fact, we also have Vavasani right next door. Vavasani. So, abhyase charcha. So, in between this anuvritti, you can see anuvritti being used upon it very judiciously, which it says that abhyase jalam, anuvritti of jalam comes here. So, char syur jashascha. So, so the, uh, in fact, in kharicha, the anuvritti of char comes from this sutra, abhyase charcha. So, now, you know, we're getting more and more, and more pieces of our puzzle put together. So, the big Ashtadhyayi puzzle. So, Abhyase Jalam Charasyo, Charahasyo, Jashascha. So, again the same thing, Antar Tamaha, Sanyantar Tamaha, Antar Tamaha, Antar Tamaha. Take the closest substitute. So, basically, simply speaking, simply, very simply speaking, in the Abhyasa, if you have a column 2, Dutiya Varna, it goes to column 1. If you have column 4, it goes to column 3. So you basically lose the prana. In fact, we are joking with Vasu. <laughs> in the Abhyasa, you, you lose prana and Abhyasa. In the in Abhyasa, the prana is lost. <laughs> I mean, that prana means the Varnascha prana. The prana of the, of the Varna is lost. Not your prana, but the prana of the Varna is lost. The simple thing Abhyasa Charcha means that in the Abhyasa, prana is lost. So, so Abhyasa Jalam Char because it goes to Char or Jash, right? So again, we'll, we'll practice as we go along. So let's let's look at what we have right now. We have Ju Ho Ti. The simple remove Abhyasa Church is that in Abhyasa, the Prana, Mahaprana becomes Alpa Prana. So Ju Ho Ti becomes Ju Ho Ti. Ju Ho Ti. Time is out. Time is out. Okay, one more. Okay, let me do just do one more and we'll stop. Okay. Anabhyasta. This also we have a very good friends on both sides, I think we have. We have seen Jontaha. We have seen Jontaha. Jontaha has been seen many times, Jontaha. The Jontaha should be second nature for us by now. We have also seen the one which I made a mistake last time was the Atmanipadeshwanataha. In fact, Anuvritti of Ad comes into the Atmanipadeshwanataha from this Sutra Adabhyastat. So if you can remember very easily, you can remember this order very easily now. Because we know Jhontaha 713. We know the Atmani Pradeshwanataha 715. Anuvritti of At has to come into 715. It has to come from 714 only. So we can remember the number, can remember very easily, can remember this number. Which is the Adabhyastat has to come in between the Jhontaha and the Atmani Pradeshwanataha. Anuvritti of At has to come into the Atmani Pradeshwanataha from Adabhyastat. So 714, we get, we get good friends on both sides, we have good friends over here. Jontaha, Atmani Pradeshwanataha, then between is Adabhyasta. You, you know the context, in fact, here you know the context very well. In fact, without without the Vritti, it will tell the meaning for us now. Because, you see, Jhakara Sistani, Adda Desha Bhavati, Abhyasta Parata, Jhakara Sistani. When Abhyastam is preferring, like Ube Abhyastam, don't forget Ube Abhyastam. So in that in that duplication prescribed in six dot one, both the terms together get the abhyasta sanya. So in, when such a term is there, following that you have the jakara pratyaha, then the j will take the adha adesha, not the anta adesha. 
And again, here also, the at does not mean the akara, it is takara sahita akara. This, this takara is not an it, which are the beginning, in fact, which should be, you know, today we start the class with this, we end the class with this note, that the at, the takara is not an it, bahalantyam, because, because of the sutra nibhakta utasmaha. Because the pratya g will get the vivakti sanya and the adda is coming place of that. So, okay, time is really up now. So, if we took out the pratyam purusha bhuvachanam, u plus g, and then we get the, um, here, shapratyaha, uh, shap takes the, the uh, shlu elision, jyotyadibhya shlu, sutram shlau, get the abhyasaha, hu, hu, g, same sutram, we get the, then, of course, by the same sutram, and then in the meanwhile, instead of jontaha, we get adabhyastan, because juhu has the abhyasanya, ubhyabhyastam, because so juhu at, at, of course, in this case, the anti is, sorry, the, the japat, not anti, excuse me, not anti, the pratya g is the sarvadhatukam apit, is no guna adeshaha. Now, last thing is that sandhi between ju, hu, and ati. What's the sandhi? First comes eco energy. Eco energy comes. Then will come the, which is what we need, but then will come achishuddhatu bhruvam yor yang vangau. So we get the uvanga adeshaha prapyate. But then comes the hushnavor sarvadhatuke. The first thing which we saw from the Shunvanti, we saw Shunvanti. That time we said with this Dhatu, who is in the same thing? Hushnuvo Swarvasarva Dhatu ke. So one more time, Eko Anashi is coming first. Ju, Hu, Ati. But then comes Achishtha Dhatu Bruvam. Achishtha Dhatu Bruvam, you of your young Vanga, because Dhatu, who is there? So Ukara will take the Uvangadesha Prapyate. Finally, Hushnavo Sarvadhatuke, and we will stop with that because here Hushnavo Sarvadhatuke. Go back and revise for homework. Let me give you some homework now. So, practice, we'll repeat this in the next class again, this thing, but Hushnavo Sarvadhatuke, the Vakara is the, is the Yand, Yand is the, you see, Vakara is the Adesha for Ukara of Dhatu, who? And for this, of course, the um, Shnu Pratya is there. As long as there is no conjunct prior to the ukara, which we have right now, we don't have because we had ju, hu, and the pratya following is sanya sarvadhatukam, which we definitely do have, think she's sarvadhatukam, and you know, that is, that's what's happening here. So, hushnavo sarvadhatuke is what we get to get the form juvati. Juvati jnana deepite comes in Gita in chapter 4 repeatedly, by the way. So, repeated chapter 4 of Gita comes this, this form juvati. Now let's stop with that. For homework, take the sutras jushicha, which is required to form in the lang lakaraha. Not to be confused with jasicha, but don't confuse this, this one also. But this is also confusing sutram here. Jusicha and jasicha. We saw jasicha, we saw. Now this is jusicha. This also does a guna adesha, by the way. This is a very confusing rule. Jusicha and jasicha. Both are in this, this one. This one is 7.3. So jasicha also 7.3. So that were a completely different context, by the way. It's a completely different context. So one is Jasicha Guna Adesha, this is Jusicha Guna Adesha. So sorry, Jusicha. And then for homework, we'll do the next dhatu. We'll, be, we'll look at the form Rasva. We'll, we'll be again in 7.4 of Bhyasa Bhagya Karyam, 7.459 for homework. After that, we'll, we'll, we'll that's for the dhatu B. We'll take next. Talk. After, if you want to do some homework, after dhatu, who will take dhatu? Nibhi bhai, to be afraid. And then we'll need the sutram raswa 759 there. After that, we'll take the sutram bhyo anyatarasyam 64115 for homework. I'm sorry, give me a lot of homework, but you know, we, I tried to go as, you know, we couldn't go any faster today. So 64115. After that, we'll take a dhatu puru. We'll need 7477. Arti vipartyoshcha. We'll also need Haladi Sheshaha, again 7.460. This entire thing, if you want to do some homework from 7.458 to end of 7.4, you can, you can look at it, Prakaranam, and see you can practice some rules from there. And then we will need Ruta Dhatoho. This is Anuji's favorite sutram. I know she's in the class today. 
Welcome Anuji. So seven one one hundred. Then we have Udosh Chapurvasya seven and one or two. And after that we'll take the Dhatu Ohak Tyage after that. Ohak Tyage. Okay, let's stop with that. Ramo Rajamanis Sada Vijayate Ramam Rameshum Vijay Rame Navyata Nishachar Chamu Rama at the Smainamaha Rama Nasti Paranam Pratam Rama Sidasos Myam Rame Chitale Sada Hotame Bho Rama Mamudhara Rama Rame Ti Rame Ti Rame Rame Manorame Sasanam Tatilyam Rama Nama Varanani Shri Rama Nama Varanana Unnamiti Again, today is the 27th of August, 27th of August. Next class will be in the second week of September, which will be September 10th, I believe. September 10th will be next class. Vyakrani um, Vibhagaha. Let us start Sundar Kandam maybe in about 15 minutes. Again, I'm sorry, we meet in the Sundar Kandam class. We need to find Sita and Sundar Kandam, right? So we don't want to keep Sita waiting for too long. But let's come back in about 15 minutes for Sundar Kandam. Thank you. Are we okay, Ravi, with the recording?